Farm 300 is allowing us to look at options such as different pasture species, alternative feeds for the summer or autumn feed gap. They will then increase efficiency and therefore reduce methane production. Since the end of July, um, it's been one of the driest periods, driest eight months that we've had for many, many years. Farm 300 has given us options to look at um, for if and when this scenario happens again and how we might probably not drought proof but dry proof ourselves um, better next time. I think the seasonal challenge has been a really important aspect to um, challenge their thinking but also um, provoke their thinking in how they can modify their enterprises, both to manage the season but also to, to look at future seasons that might mimic what we've just been through. Both Janet and her father uh, manage the property and they are both scientists and they are always looking at alternatives and how they can incorporate them into their system. They recognise that they have room for improvement and they um, are willing to take on board the aspects that we've looked at within the Farm 300 program. Ellen Humphreys has a project from filling the research gap and that is looking at alternative uh, pasture varieties and looking at how those both improve production and, and how they yield but also how they reduce emissions. He's done a lot of work on lucerne, and in particular lucerne that will grow on acid soils, because we have acid soils, and up until now there haven't been any useful lucerne species that we could use. What we've got here is lucerne established, on, as I pointed out on that slide, a really quite acidic soil. So pH 4.2 in the, the noughts to 10. If there is a lucerne variety that will tolerate acid soils, it gives us more hope of being able to incorporate it into our system. Lucerne will grow over the summer and into the autumn. If we can have green feed, animals do better, even if they're only partially fed on green feed rather than all hay. So the, the smaller amount of hay that we can feed and the more green feed they can get, the better the animals will be. Therefore, the better the production and reducing methane. We now know that there's a chance with the Emission Reduction Fund to provide them some options um, where they get paid for reducing methane into the future. The Emission Reduction Fund that is currently being set up is something to keep an eye on and if they can provide us with rebates for reducing emissions then I think that will be a benefit to us. <laughs>